What are your feelings on the election coming up? I mean, Biden and Trump, are you just depressed about that as most people as a choice? This is the policies that will affect our generations for the next 20, 30, 40 years to come. So close your eyes, listen to the policies that are being pushed. Pay attention even to the people who don't have a chance of winning because they're going to say policies you may want to push. And I would say do that, but make it policy based. Make so, it policy. so that means, therefore, that means I'm I'm for black people and happy Black History Month. But you're not you're not saying one candidate over the other. Hey man, my nigga, you ain't gonna get me in no trouble tonight. <laughs> my, no, my, no, that's your job with me to my, get me in trouble. My grandfather gave me some stellar advice sometimes. He says, "Son, sometimes well, you just gotta know to stay out of white folks' business." And, well, <laughs> uh, this, well, this, this time I'm gonna keep my mouth closed. I, I still like the policy that the old man had that I was supporting. I would encourage people to find who's supporting that policy and and see what. But happens. you can't get yourself to say vote for Biden over Trump. You, you want me to list it now, so now, now I'm, we I'm gotta, just saying that can, that's, can that's, he get himself to apologize for the crime bill? Can he get can he get himself oh, to get his head out of his oh, ass and say, "Black people, you you are black regardless." I need you to tell me what I need to do. Can he pick a coalition of former people who are affected by drug laws, street gangs, recidivism, and crime, and say, "I need you as a board to advise me how to fix federal prisons"? If he can do that, absolutely, I can. So my challenge is out. Killer Mike, advocating for a conservative approach emphasizes policy goals over blind allegiance to political parties or individuals. He stresses personal responsibility and independent decision-making, refraining from outright endorsing candidates. His request for an apology from Joe Biden regarding the crime bill, alongside his dedication to addressing black community issues, resonates with the public's desire for accountability and individual empowerment. Killer Mike highlights the impact of personal choices on shaping the future and views policy as a tool for generational change. His reluctance to endorse Biden overtly is seen as a move away from partisan politics, encouraging critical discourse on policy. Biden's willingness to take responsibility and engage with affected communities reflects an acknowledgement of past actions. Killer Mike's hesitation to endorse without concrete actions signals resistance to societal norms and a commitment to authenticity. His skepticism underscores the need for substantive efforts to address specific issues rather than mere rhetoric.